Hey, Panda. How's it going, my man? Thanks for coming by, buddy. Why am I in the water? Uh-oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's not a good way to start the stream at all. In a storm. On a boat. Well, I wasn't even on a boat. I was in the water. Okay. Let me get my bearings here. Okay, so... This... Oh, man. We were so close to finding the trader on our own. Like, we were right there. Not too bad. Just making food and relaxing. Waited to hear from Job and help my partner with her resume. Is she waiting to hear from a job or are you waiting to hear from a job in any case i hope it works out for you guys oddly enough my partner is she just started a new job she just went to do her onboarding I'm waiting for the job. She's needing to work on her resume and ask me to help. Cool, man. That's pretty cool. I hope it works out, though, for sure. Had an interview Wednesday. Nice, dude. Do you think it went well? Also, for anyone who may be tuning in, our current whereabouts are north of the base, in the ocean, looking for the trader. Once we find the trader and we could trade our treasures that we have, which we have quite a bit of now, we are going to go back to the home base and prepare to head to the mountains to establish an outpost. That is the to-do list today. Nice for your partner, and I hope it did. I actually talked to the job description and stuff, so I have high hopes. Cool, man. I hope it works out, dude. There's nothing <clears throat> as exciting and is like nerve wracking as starting a new job. the trader isn't too far into the plains here. What field is the the job in that you had the interview for? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Retail? Word. Cashier specifically? Okay. Did you ask the interview interviewer any questions? I found that when conducting interviews and also being the interviewee, whenever the interviewer is asked questions by the interviewee, that puts them like at the top of the list for potential candidates because everyone comes in and they do the interview and then 
at the end of the interview, they'll always ask the the potential employee, they'll say, do you have any questions for us? And 90% of people will say, no, I think that covers everything. But that 10% of people who, who will be like, yeah, and then they'll, you know, ask the, whatever questions they have prepared, those people will leave the interview absolutely remembered more than the folks who didn't have questions. Oh, very good, dude. You'll probably be in really good shape then. Good luck, man. I hope it works out for you. Stupid wind. Okay. So there is a spot a bit east of here where both of the traders are within walking distance of each other. And that is where we're going to go right now. We're going to mark this as a camp. Or village, what have you. Uh-oh. Uh Ooh, not good. Not good. Okay. All right. Which one is the trader that I want? Is it Haldir or Hildur? Or hill deer, however it's pronounced. Go ahead and, uh, Oh, I can't wait to put this coral cod in my fish tank. I'm here, but I'm mostly going to lurk. I'm co-op in Valheim. Okay, man. No worries. Thanks for stopping by, brother. I am very, very close to where those traders are. They should be right in this general area. We just got to kind of circle the land here. The problem is, is I can't see very far ahead of me. And I don't want to come crashing into the ground. And there we go. It looks like the fog's clearing up a little bit. Enough for me to see, at least. Okay. You know who I haven't seen in a couple days is Lee. I hope Lee's doing all right. And he doesn't appear to be very active on Discord. You did have guests. Oh, okay. Hey, welcome, Finn. 
have you started the uh D and D movie yet? Oh, well I'd be muted of course. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, Finn. I hope you enjoy your company, and I really hope you enjoy the movie. It's very, very good. This game, it doesn't have realistic graphics. I, I wouldn't call the, the graphics it does have cartoony either. It's got a, a very interesting art style though, and I, I really like the way the, the game looks. Like the water, it sucks I'm so afraid of the water because the, the physics of it and the way it looks, very, very good. pick up a little bit of speed here finally we got some wind there we go we're gonna make some sharp rights here we're gonna continue to follow the coast just ever so slightly south. Ooh, not quite there. We're gonna mark this though. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna go a little bit south. Here we go. You know what? Where are we gonna stop? Let's slow down a bit and figure out where it is we're gonna park this bad boy. Uh oh. That's okay. We're okay. Hmm. 
I think we still have quite a bit of distance to travel. Not quite a bit, but a little bit. We've got a little bit of distance to go. I think this is another cave up on our right. We've got a lot of caves we can hit on the way back. I don't know if that would be ideal, though. There we go. We found one. All right. I don't know if I don't know if I want to park at this cave. Is this a troll cave? They won't mess with my boat while I'm not around it, right? Or will they? I think this might be a troll cave. If it is, we're Definitely not park on our boat there. Ooh, we need to grab all these yellow mushrooms, though. Oh, he sees me. We're not getting any of those yellow mushrooms. And we are not parking our boat here, either. Okay, we will go park it by that very odd hill at the coast. Which would be such a sick place to build a base. My base was built on a similar peak, but not that close to the ocean. But if it was that close, oh man, it would be so cool. Okay. There we go. First things first, let us place a workbench. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Boat is safe and secure. Got the traders nearby. Let's see if we can get some treasures out of this real quick. Yeah, there's a few treasures in there and a few flint head arrows too. Not bad. I will take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Ooh, blueberries. We will get these. Oh, we don't have the space. What can we drop? We're dropping that. Okay. Probably gonna have to drop something else. Or the thistle. Okay. I'm having a hard time seeing these guys right now. Let's eat a sausage. Okay. We're having a stamina deficiency. We're having a hard time seeing them. We're very far away from home. 
And there's one of these ancient spawn points that we need to go take care of ASAP. So let's go do that pronto. There we go. No more are gonna spawn out of that. Look at all this thistle. Very nice. There's another one of those spawn things over there. There's a copper deposit, but it's kind of... Yeah, it's too far from the water. Ooh, we should have marked our boat. Let's just put something here. Boat? There we go. All right. I see it. I see the um, the safety mechanism. More copper. That's probably another dungeon over there. Ah, customer. Yes. Thank you, Aldor. The Thunderstone. I forget what the Thunderstone is for. Okay, so I got 1800 gold. Can I afford this and this? Oh, I certainly can. But can I also get a fishing rod? I don't think that I can. I think I'm, I'm gonna have to leave the fishing rod behind. I mean, the belt is, of course, necessary. Okay. Carry weights 450 now? Sick, dude. That's gonna make things so much better. And that leaves us with 909. So the hat, the light source is essential. So we'll buy that. And that leaves us with 289, not quite enough. Yeah, not quite enough. Okay. There is, however, dungeon right over there. Oh, let's let's place our um let's get a little a little hut with a portal in it set up. I don't think we could place a portal right here. I brought the oh, I put the fine wood in my boat. Damn it. Why would I do that? Okay, no worries. We'll just put our little hut together, we'll go get our fine wood, and then we'll bring the portal back. Because I'm fairly certain you can't put the portal inside his safety area anyways. Oh, there's a dungeon right there. Oh, he made me break the blueberry bush. Yeah, we'll get those carrot seeds. Why not?
Panda, are you still there, bud? I had a question about the other traitor, if you would happen to know. The, um, cosmetic traitor. For some reason, that brute was doing like no damage to me. He isn't either. Interesting. Okay. can't tell if it's getting dark or not. Um, let's drop this and this. I don't think it's getting dark, but it might be. It's entirely possible that it is. Alright, let's pick this stuff up. There we go. Okay. Oh, I need the rested bonus. That's why I'm having such a hard time. I think it just became night. Yeah, I believe it did. Okay. Let's hurry up and get this traitor outpost put up. So we could put our portal in it, and then we could go about our business to the mountains. Uh, almost. Okay. Alright, where is the trader? There's the trader. We're going to build it as close as we can. As close as they'll let us. Crafting. Okay. Can we place it here? We sure can. And put one there. And there. Sounds like somebody's fighting somebody else out there. Oh, skeletons and great horse. Okay, very good. As long as they're not fighting me. Oh, and so they came to fight me. All right. Okay, we have removed the rock. Put a little support there. And a little support there. Give him a big smack. Alright. Yep, here they all come. They're everywhere now.
Okay. Let's hurry up and get these damn walls up. I need a couple more floors, though. Oh, lovely. Okay. All right. That's okay. This is fine. We're doing fine. Let's get the real tall, pointy ceilings. There we go. Definitely gonna need a wall there. And a wall up there, actually. Okay. And... What are we doing? Roofs, here we go. Perfect. Three and four. Two, three, four. All right. Let's put our door in. Okay, door check. And pointy roof. Missing requirement. All right, ran out of wood. We need to get a few more trees. There we go. We need to get the last couple of pieces of that roof up and a bed so we can sleep this night and storm away. And then we'll get our fine wood from the boat. Build our portal, do our trading, and then go home. And then prepare to go to the mountain base. But I think we're going to need to clear this dungeon, though, because we're like 200 coins short of... Or not even 200, we're less than that. We're like 100 coins short of getting the fishing pole also. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. I used all my stamina on that last swing. I'm very happy that it landed. Pointy roof. And we'll put the portal on that wall. We'll put the bed right here. And we will put the portal there. And we could just put the fire right there. Why not? Okay. Campfire is placed. Oh, we gotta take these people out and then we can sleep. Okay. Get our crafting bench there. You are wet. Okay. 
good. I'm glad we were able to get that done before it got any worse. Oh, hey, Pancake. I'm all good, dude. How was camp? Do you have a good time? And wow, has it been three days already? That's crazy. crashed yeah I did thank you I crashed the boat oh my god nobody got hurt I hope and that's pretty crazy dude how did you manage that Everyone was okay, but people were yelling at me. Turn right, no turn left, stop, just drove straight into a tree. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, dude. Did the boat, like, capsize? Did it go under? Yeah, right on the other side of the hill is our boat. No, but there was a hole in it. Shoot. Yeah, that's pretty wild, man. I'm glad you're all right, though. I imagine a boat wreck could have been a lot worse. Drop this and that. All right, Pancake, let me give you a recap on everything that's happened in the stream um, for Bjorn 2 while you were gone. We. And forgive me if I say something that you have seen that you were here for because I can't recall what was done before or after you left for camp but we beat the second boss the elder which is like a picture tree beard that can shoot magic magic out of his hands and who else did we fight and we fought bone mass which is the third boss from the swamp and after bone mass we just beat bone mass last night so yeah so we fought and killed the elder second boss he's the boss of the black forest which is where we are now but for uh unrelated reasons and then we fought and killed the boss from the swamp bone mass because he drops an item called a wishbone i don't have it on me but the wishbone 
tells you where silver veins are underground when you go to the mountains and where treasures are other places. So ideally you don't want to go to the mountains without first having the wishbone. Because um, part of the reason you go to the mountains is for the silver. And then we did a lot of cool stuff to the base. We added an aquarium. We turned a ton of it to stone. And now we're here. And today we were we set out to find the trader, which we did. And now we are going to finish establishing an outpost here. And then there's a dungeon right outside this uh, right outside this hut that we're going to go and clear. 10 great or fives. Oh, did I drop my great or five somewhere? Oh, here. Okay. Let's put that in there. Take that. Okay. We're going to put this portal up right here. This will let us get to and from our main base. Trader 01. That skill. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it took me like the whole time you were gone to prepare for bone mass, which is the boss from the swamp. And he crushed me the first night I fought him. And then I went back to fight him again that same night. And he crushed me again. And then the following night, I upgraded all my gear. I made better food. And then we crushed him. And it was a good fight. Okay, let's take some of these resources back to the base. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is our main base. We have a lot of building to do still. It's like halfway done under construction. This is our fish tank. It's got a lot of lighting in there. There's fish swimming around. It's kind of hard to tell because there's not that much fish in it yet. We'll put this guy in there. There, oh, look at that fish. He looks good in our fish tank. Oh yeah, we need more of him. That That's a coral Cape Cod. We need more of him in our fish tank. But yeah, there's other fish in there. They're just not nearly as cool looking as that one. Oh man, I really wish I had more of that. Thank you, thank you. Um, so far, my favorite parts of the base are this uh, aquarium. I love the fish tank here. I really, really enjoy it. Um, especially once I fill it up with more cool fish like that orange one. And I really like this tree. I think this planter looks really good. And my storage area. I really like the storage area too. And we got a nice little farm going over here as well. This is where we make our mead bases, which we use for potions. This is our workshop area. And... This is the storage room. I like the way the storage came out as well. It's probably my third favorite thing about the base. All right. So we came here to put some of this stuff away. We have a lot of unneeded stuff in our inventory right now. Yeah, thank you. I really like uh, the colors. And I actually spent longer than you would think picking the right color for the right chest. A lot of thought went into which colors got used. Okay. 
All right, put the wood there. This goes outside, outside, outside. Alright, so now that we brought all that stuff back to the base, there is a dungeon somewhere very close to us. Here it is, and I want to go to this dungeon because I am like 150 gold short of buying a fishing pole and some bait, and the dungeon should have some treasures inside. And some certling cores, which is another thing that we need for portals and various other things. So we're going to go through this dungeon, see what we can find inside. And another cool thing we just bought was this headlamp. So we've always got a lamp on instead of having to carry a torch. So I'm very excited about this. Take these yellow mushrooms. Thank you. Well, there's a certling core. Oh, wow. Look at all these cert. Oh, yeah. We got four cert five certling cores. One, two, three, four. And there was one in this room. Five. Very good. Got this mushroom. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a good dungeon to loot. And on top of all the certling cores, there's already a bunch of treasures. Jackpot for sure, dude. Yeah, major jackpot. I was in desperate need of more certling cores. Also, Pancake, another thing that's new since you were last here, I made a Discord and set up a buy me a coffee thing. Um, you should definitely join the Discord. The link is in the description, the Discord. Uh, we're starting to put together a nice little community. And that goes for anybody else who's in the stream at the moment as well. Join the Discord, everybody. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, Bjorn2. Needs all the support he can get for his upcoming journeys. All right. Let's see. Okay. I love this headlamp so much. It makes just everything so much easier. Actually being able to see what you're doing. Oh, another certling core. Okay. We're going to loot this little room first. What is that? Nothing. Also nothing. Okay. Yellow mushroom. Yellow mushroom. Certling core. Oh, no more treasures in that one. But that's okay. We've got... 40, we've got 15 value worth of amber and 80 worth of ruby 
and 318 worth of coins. I don't know if that's going to be enough to get us the fishing pole and some bait. It might be, it might not be. And we need all these yellow mushrooms as well. This really was a good, good find. Another certling core? Wow. Score. Big time. What is that? That's eight so far? That's crazy. It's been my it's been my experience and I'm not the most experienced dungeon delver, but it's been my experience that dungeons usually only have like three or four certling cores. But again, I'm not the most experienced dungeon diver. Okay. I think that's it. I think we hit up all the hallways. Just double check. That door, that door. There was a door down one of these hallways. I want to make sure I opened it. Yep, we definitely went down there. Okay, we are good to go. Let's go check with the trader. Hopefully we have everything we need. There's probably treasures in a chest at the top of this tower as well. So we can... This is almost a full-on base. I've never seen a ruin this intact. It's got an awning, stairs, it's got a table inside. It's got wood floors. Yeah, this is a pretty intact building still. I don't see a chest though. Unless I'm missing it. Maybe it's on the outside? Huh. No, still no chest. Maybe this uh, this room just doesn't have one. That's weird. Pick up these carrot seeds. Oh, look at all these blueberry bushes. This place is just loaded with good stuff. It's one bush, two, three, four, five, six bushes. We're going to drop the stone. And all this thistle. Wow. Okay. The trader is over here. I'm a little disappointed there wasn't a chest in that building, but that's all right. We, we still got a bunch of stuff around here. Hey, dude, I'm going to join the Discord. I'm going to have to leave the stream, but I will be back. All right, man. That's all right. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely join the Discord, though, so we can stay in touch and have a good rest of your day, man. I'll be here for a couple hours still if you decide to come back. We, drop. we don't need any more skeleton bones. We also don't need any more stone or eyes. There we go. Do you want all the resin?
I'm back. Welcome back, Pancake. I didn't know you were going to be right back. I thought you had to go for a while and then you would be back later. So welcome back. All right, so we are like 30 coins short, 32 coins short of getting the fishing rod. But we really need a fishing rod. It's uh, almost essential. I saw other dungeons in the area. Let's go in here and get a rested bonus and we're going to go find another dungeon because... Oh, wait, I didn't sell. I didn't sell those riches I have. Oh yeah, fishing rod, let's go. And we're gonna buy some bait, all the bait we can. My inventory is full, but I only have 20 out of 100 bait. What's up with that? All right, let's drop this. And we'll buy more, 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 more. Okay. So with the fishing pool, we should be able to fill up our fish tank. We should be able to use the fishing pool to fill up our aquarium. Can you fish from, from a boat? We're going to go to sleep for the night. We're going to go get back to our long ship. And we're going to see what we can do. If we see any cool fish on our way back home, then we will get it with our fishing pole. In the meantime, though, I am not going to risk losing all these certling cores, so I'm going to put them away somewhere. Really, I shouldn't risk losing any of the stuff I have, but that's okay. I'm not going to be naked in the world. Snag a Thunderstone and make an Obliterator when you can. It is a trash can, basically, and some items. Oh, yeah, I have, um, I've had one of those before, and it shoots, like, the big lightning thing, and it It'll get, um, it'll deal damage to you if you're too close. Yeah, we'll definitely get one of those when we can. I got 25 chitin last night. I can't remember if you were there for that panda. I think you were, because you were there when, um, I had the two leviathans spawn on top of each other. Thought so. All right. We're just gonna dump all this stuff. Now, how does the fishing pole work? I assume I have to equip it. Let me put it in that slot. And then... You cast with mouse one, you pull with mouse two. Okay. Very cool. Oh, what's going on in there? I don't see my Cape Cod. Oh, I fell in. That's not good. There's my Cape Cod. He's like hidden all the way down at the bottom. What are you doing? Oh, it's a Coral Cod. Sorry. Um, falling in was not ideal. I'm going to get into a position to build a ladder out of here.
Okay, we're out. Oh, you found Haldor. Yeah, yep. Found Haldor and... The other traitor is... Right in here. The other traitor, the Haldir, is right in here. Or Hildur. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, to be honest. I think Hildur sounds is more right. Um, let's put some of this fishing bait away. We don't need that much on us. All right, let's go back to our boat and then sail home with that. And then we're going to the mountains, guys. We're going to go establish an outpost. Hildur, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We don't need this. All right. Let us. We're really not that far from the boat. Now, I don't know what mountains we're going to explore. I do know that at the swamp base, north of the... There's mountains there. I don't know if, if it's a big set of mountains, if it's worth exploring or not, but I think that'll be our easiest access to mountains since we have a portal in the general area. What do you guys think? Should I check that out or should I try to find something more concrete? Okay. Let's get out of here. We're going to keep an eye out for leviathans, and we're going to keep an eye out for cool-looking fish. I probably should have took that workbench down, but that's okay. We'll be all right. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, you're the one playing. That's fair, but I am open to suggestions. Okay, how are we getting home? We could probably just hook a right and go that way. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if there's a path through all the way, but there should be. Oh, there's a leviathan right there. Have you seen one of these yet, panda? Panda, you have. I know you have. I'm sorry. I meant Pancake. Pancake, have you seen one of these yet? I know you're not super familiar with the game. This is called a Leviathan. Oh, there's mountains right there. Surrounded by plains, though. I don't want to do that. No? Okay, so this is actually a creature. Um, yeah, so these are like 
barnacles or whatever. It's an abyssal barnacle. We're going to mine it and we're going to get a resource called chitin. However, once you start attacking the barnacles, it'll get pissed off and want to go back into the water. So you have a limited amount of time to get as many barnacles as you can get. So we're going to start... Let's see. We're going to start right here. These two look pretty good. We'll get these two. Oh, I should have drank my muck shake first. I already messed up. He'll make two of those big noises and then he'll go under. He already made one. That's the second one. There he goes. Very cool. I was very ill prepared for doing that, but very good. We got mountains on our left. And yeah, mountains on our left and mountains on our right. Also planes in a village there. There's some more swamp. Wow, we've got swamp. It looks like meadows. This has like all four biomes right all touch each other. It's got it's got plains, mountain, and I don't know if this is meadows or black forest. I think it's meadows. So we've got plains, mountain, meadows, and swamp all right next to each other. That's funny. Since we're kind of coasting and we don't really have the wind in our favor, well, let's try some fishing. Can you fish on a moving boat? Guess left. Cool, Finn. So you guys watch the movie then? It's a bomb movie? Yeah. No, you didn't watch it? Oh, man. It's such a good movie. Just been talking long time, no see. Yeah, I hear you. That's cool, though. My tomorrow other friends recommended highly yeah man it's it's really really good i really hope they make a sequel i don't know if they will but just the more of that content that i can consume the better
Will I feel the bobber? Will I feel the bite or will I just have to watch and see if the bobber goes under? Or will it like tug on my pole? First world problems. <laughs> yeah. Pool park is good though. Really sucks we don't have the wind. Brisket is where it's at, though. Uh oh. We don't want to put those down. There we go. Those are interesting little plots of land. Hey, Hanzo. Welcome aboard, buddy. We've got Hanzo, Finn, Panda, and Pancake here. We're only missing Lee. Two-star boar farm? Hell yeah, that is the way. Okay, got a little sliver of wind. Just the tiniest sliver. With all that you have... With all that, have you found the traitor? I have found the traitor, yep. Traitor is right there. We've got an outpost with a portal right there. And we are just sailing home so we can go to the mountains. And also there, we found a dungeon with eight more certling cores inside. Me over here trying to corral deer. Can you take, can you do that? I didn't know if it, I never realized that it could even possibly work with deer. Now let's say you were able to catch deer in a, in a, in a cage. Could you tame it? That would be pretty cool. No, of course not. That is unfortunate. I'm really keeping an eye out for more fish. That orange fish, that coral cod I put in the um, fish tank, the aquarium, looks so sick. In there? Oh, it looks so cool in there. I really want to find more of those. Or other exotic fish. You just like... <laughs> Got a couple of draggers there. Okay. It's really unfortunate that the wind is uh, not in our favor. I'm really excited to go to the mountains, and we couldn't possibly be moving any slower than we are right now. Well, there's something over there in the distance. I saw it. I don't know if it was a little hut. Or in a... Yeah, some kind of abandoned building. Right in there. Interesting. Maybe we can hook a sharp left. I know, but the motor ability would be sick right now. 
Let's hook a let's zigzag our way home. Let's hook a sharp left here. Get a little sliver of wind. Yeah. I don't want to go too left. There we go. Got a little sliver of wind this way. And then we'll have to whip the boat around and go the other direction. Ooh, I did not like seeing that leech out of water like that. That was disgusting. Okay, the wind is in our favor now, boys. We're going home. Motor, that is the mountain boss, right? Or no? On the boat again. <laughs> I can't wait till I get home again. Yo, is anybody seeing this right now? Swamp tree all by itself out there. This is a pretty wild seed. I had two leviathans on top of each other last night. Um, we've got that swamp tree all by itself. And we just passed a patch of land that had like four of the biomes all within a little tiny square. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to read between the lines. Um, but when you wrote that, or when I read that, it reminded me of something, but I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So who here has played Baldur's Gate 3? Beaten. Okay. Hanzo, you do you plan on playing? Back in the day. Your skate three is a new release, so I'll assume you probably played the older ones, but not the new one. Anyways. There's a scene where you walk in um a barn and you see some horrific things that are best not seen. Um and you saying the two leviathans making babies definitely reminded me of that. Yeah, the bugbear and the troll. 
Yep. Man, what a good game. That was such a good game. Almost there. We just need to go this way a little bit and then hook a left down this river. And then there we will be. And this river is a lot easier to traverse than this river. This river is super annoying. Um, I have to make breakfast and I will be back. All right, Pancake. How, <laughs> how convenient Pancake has to go make breakfast. Sounds good, buddy. I'll be here. Ooh, there's a fish. Shoot. Uh-oh, not good. Does anybody see that? Anybody see what I'm seeing? Okay. Mm, I've only got flint head arrows on me. Probably not going to do good. Should I go back for it? No, because if I go back for it, then I'll be going against the wind. He's not. He wouldn't follow me down the river, would he? I live in Australia, so I don't know your time zone. Oh, I live on eastern side of of the US so my time zone is it's about 620 in the afternoon right now I was about to say brave sailing at night not even rested yeah uh oh oh that serpent's not gonna follow me down this river right he'll stay in the ocean I bet you know I was surprised to see him that close to the shore If I had more arrows, I would have stopped to fight him. Or if I would have had a better arrows, at least. Some serpent meat would be super awesome. The first night Pancake ever came to the stream, I was mining copper and he wanted to see the ocean, so I took him around the ocean in the middle of a storm. And we got chased by a serpent the whole time. Clean on to land. See, I've not had one follow me on to land yet. No, I don't have the Draugr bow yet. I think you might need silver for that. That's... It's the only resource I can think of that I don't have that you might need for the bow. I have the um, Huntsman's bow. Yeah, I have the Huntsman bow. I have a level one Huntsman bow. But we're gonna get the Draugr bow soon. You need 20 silver. Wow, that's a lot of silver for a bow. Guck. Oh, hey, Vale. 
Welcome back. I remember you from yesterday. So you need guck and silver. Okay. I have guck. I don't have any silver, but I will have silver soon because we're about to go to the mountains. We're almost home. We're very close to the home base. You know what? We're at the mouth of the river. Let's go ahead and shoot our way out now. Okay. Yep. Let's see. See how far right we can go and not lose the wind. Um, that looks pretty good. That looks good enough. Alright. I'm going to take this slow moving opportunity to say don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody who's watching the stream at the moment. Like the video to show Bjorn to your support. He needs all the help he can get. All right. Oh, I wish all of our torches were lit, but we've been having a serious fuel deficiency, so the base isn't going to look half as cool as it could. There it is. All right. I don't know where we should park the boat. Let's come in nice and slow at the dock. Oh, that's a big fish. That would work good in the aquarium, too. All right. Nice and steady. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a pretty hefty hit. All right. That's pretty good. There we go. Don't worry. Once you unlock Mistland, you have more light problem. Oh, great. That's weird. The fish is, like, always pointing away from me. That was interesting. Did anybody see that? Where's the Cape Coral at? Oops, you won't have a light problem. Oh, okay. Good. Very good. I don't see the Cape Coral in there. Sometimes it's hard to see the... Oh, there he is. Wait, no. Is that it? I don't think that's it. It's got to be it, right? That fish is trying to get in. Can I catch that fish? All right, I don't know why that went out so far. There we go. There was a fish that was just swimming around right here. Oh, did he beach himself? Got him. All right. Oh. There he is, the coral cod. I don't know why I keep calling it a cape coral. I've called it a cape cod and a cape coral. All right, what is this, a perch? There you go. You want it in, buddy. Ask and ye shall receive. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh, dude, the aquarium is just so cool. I really do think it's just super cool. Okay. What do we got? We need to place a... I need to place another portal and name it... Swamp OP1. Because we had to rename the trader portal... We had to rename the other portal to get to the trader. But I don't think I have the fine wood. I have 15 of the fine wood. I can get five more fine wood. And that'll give us the portal we need to get to where we want to go. All right. That's weird. Okay. Put the iron, the B, and... Yeah. We will equip that. Got the hoe. Pickaxe. Keep the fishing rod and the fishing bait right there. Okay. You could just change the name of the portal you already have. Yeah. I don't want to keep doing that for all the portals, though. Got enough certling cores. I think I'd just... I'd rather just, um... Just get five more fine wood. And have the two official portals. You know what I mean? Two, ten, and fifteen. We have several birch trees right around the corner. Okay. Oh, and I already got a log down, too. Easy peasy. Right, we are good to go. Hell yeah. Oh, I need to finish putting the walls around the base of that base. Watch out, your health won't regen. I know, I am. <laughs> I always do this when I'm near the base. I just, like, don't eat. I need to put walls down there. I haven't thought about that. Oh, look how far he went. <laughs> oh, the mace is just too funny. Yeah, it would be really hard to hit a deer with that. Got wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> Have you brewed frost resist potion? No. Don't you need frost glands for that? I haven't checked, but I assume you need frost glands for that. And yeah, the mace super wrecks things. It's so funny to watch. Oh. Okay, there we go. Frost resist. Oh, you don't need frost glands. Honey, thistle, blood bag. I have all those things. Let me place a portal down in here. Just because I don't have a portal room yet, it's going to have to go in here. Um. Actually, no. This room's kind of tight. Let me put it up in the main area. The main living quarters, if you will. Okay.
All right, so that is Trader 01. Ooh, I think it's Swamp OP1. I think it is. All right, it is. Very cool. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the Frost Resist potions. It was... We better stop doing that. I almost died just now. Let's eat some of this stuff. There we go. I know it was blood bags, thistle, and honey. And what else was it? Honey, thistle, blood bag, and gray dwarf eyes. We got a bunch of those. Right, we are going to be super good to go for the mountain base. I still have a few health potions left. How many health potions do I have? Do I have any extras? I do not. No, okay. Oh, here we go. How many of these do you get? Do you get six from this? Honey, blueberries, raspberries, dandelion. Oh, I don't have... Oh, wait. I've got honey. I replaced these. Try to go get wolf pet and wolf trophy ASAP to get the wolf cap. You won't need resist pot after that. Okay, cool. I knew about the wolf cloak. I didn't know about the wolf hat. I didn't know you could make one of those. Medium healing, blood bag, raspberries, and dandelions. Blood bag, raspberries, and dandelions. I don't think we have enough raspberries. No, we sure don't. So let's just put that back. For me. Wood, 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 wood. Yep. All right, let's start fermenting. Our blue bases. And... We will put some of this stuff back. Oh, you do mean the cloak? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get the wolf cloak ASAP. Yeah, the wolf cloak will be awesome. It'll be a little while before I get to the plains, but when I do, I'm going to breed a bunch of loxes. That's going to be awesome. We should probably make some better arrows. Are fire arrows any good versus that stuff? Probably, right? Because they're they're all probably resistant to cold stuff. Yes, you can. 
yeah, you definitely can breed them. And having a little baby lox is adorable. Really is. Alright, we need wood, feathers, and resin. I think we're probably going to need more wood for the fire arrows. We definitely don't have enough wood for that. Frost resist potions. That shouldn't take... That sh do all potions take the same amount of time to brew? <laughs> oh, he goes so far. I love it. fine wood the whole time that extra five we needed or whatever and I do have more health potions and stamina potions very good we'll put the wishbone down here okay we got all our special stuff there and our bait and our fishing pole Um, okay. All right, we have what we need to make more fire arrows. That stuff's going to be a little bit. Now, frost resist. You take frost damage by just existing there right you don't have to be attacked by anything just being cold you'll take damage if, is that right
Alrighty. We are going to... We're going to go AFK for a bit while we wait for these to ferment. I don't really have anything I want to do around the base at the moment. And we can't do what we want to do until these are done. So, yep. Going to go AFK for... It's 646 now. I will be back in within 14 minutes. So, that would be a good time to take some breaks. I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Alrighty, we are back. Thank you to those we did. Um, I'm sorry. Thank you for those who decided to wait. And sorry to those who did not. We are going to finish fermenting these frost resistance potions. We made our arrows. And then we are going to head to the mountains. I guess we can... I was hoping these would be done by the time I got back, but it would appear as though they are not. So, I suppose we could do something to stay busy. We could make food. Let's see. We need more sausages. Entrails, boar meat, and thistle. Or meat, entrails, and thistle. All right. We're gonna have to dump some stuff. Probably all this wood, and this, and this. Sure, let's make another. And what do we need for muck shake? Ooze, raspberry, blueberries. Ooh, I don't have raspberries. Turnip stew. How many turnips do I have? Do I have any? Are those all my turnips? I think these are all my turnips. Oh, they're turnip seeds. Right, so I need to replant all of them. How many seeds did I get? 18 seeds. Very good. Very, very good. Let's get our cultivator. Which is not in the tools chest. Maybe in the weapons chest for some reason? Nope, it's not in the weapons chest. What arrows do we have? Let's put this stack there. Oh, that's funny. You can't have fishing bait and arrows selected. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? If the cultivator's not in the toolbox, then it's got to be in the cart. Yep, sure is. And this little patch has been bugging me. There we go. There we go. There's no way to turn this not black without destroying the fish tank, so that's just gonna have to stay that way. We could build a new smelter. But let's plant these turnips first. Alright. There we go. Oh yeah. We're gonna get a bunch of turnip seeds out of this. There. We'll get turnips from these, and then we'll take those turnips to plant them, and then get turnip seeds from that. And then we'll really be grooving with the turnips. It takes a little bit of startup time, but once we get there, we'll be... We'll have more turnips than we know what to do with. Let me make sure these are all healthy. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. That's all the turnips. Okay. 
Nope, frost resist is not done yet. I'll probably continue checking every 30 seconds until it is done. You know what we could do? We could put our smelter back up. Five certling cores, we have that. Rare. There we go. Perfect, and we have just enough cores to set up a portal connection from the base to the mountain base once that's going. Oh, let's go ahead and pick up the stone too. Very good. Um, I don't want it that close. There, that looks pretty good. I could put coal in. I could put ingots in or ores. Very good. Let's put something there. Let's get some fine wood and some bronze nails. We'll put some of this back. Two, okay. Furniture, item holder signed. Alrighty. We're gonna put this on one. Very good. And we're going to put a health potion on the other. Very good. <laughs> Very cool. This, this, all this stuff has actual spots. Let's put the cultivator back. That back. And we don't need that. Do need the health potion. Oh, we had more sausages here. I didn't realize that. Okay. And let's just go. Didn't get position, but it's cool. Didn't get what position? Oh, I wanted the one specifically to be at an angle. Yeah, I didn't want it to be placed um, like perfectly down. You know, when you set your drink down, you don't make sure it's like facing the front of the table properly. You just set it down. If that is what you're talking about, I'm not, I assume that is, but I could be mistaken. This will dandelions and or meat entrails all of this stuff yep oh, and that all that stuff needs to go away nope not done fermenting yet should be soon though I mean has to be soon it's been quite some time now let's go some trophy Skellies. Okay. Oh, we need to make more minced meat sauce and something to replace the muck shake because what are we short on for the muck shake? I think raspberries.
Oh, we could make Queen's Jam. Oh, no, because you need raspberries. All right. All right, so boar meat, necktail, and carrot. Boar meat, necktail, and carrot. Oh, you didn't get the position? Shit, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. I was hoping you would. Can I ask what company it was for? Giant Eagle. You must be either in the Midwest or on the East Coast. Because Giant Eagles, they aren't everywhere. I have Giant Eagles where I am. I'm in Ohio. I don't know about you, but you must be somewhere within the surrounding states. Because, uh, yeah, Giant Eagles, those aren't everywhere. You're in Ohio? Oh, shit. That's crazy, Panda. <laughs> uh, are you in the northeast, north, south, west? I'm at the northeast myself. That's pretty wild, man. Another Ohioan. That's awesome. That's why we were able to click right away. East of Columbus? Okay. I used to live in Columbus for about four months back in 2012. Um, and then I moved back up more north. Yep. <clears throat> I live just outside of Youngstown. But that's cool, dude. That's sick. Columbus is sweet. I always said, and I've told everybody who's ever asked me what I thought about Columbus, if I could live anywhere in Ohio again, it would be Columbus. The best city I've been to in Ohio. It really is. Um, do you have an Ollie's? around you, that discount outlet. Newark area, but I have plans to leave state when I'm stable financially and education wise. Okay. Cool, dude. This is crazy. Um, cryogenic panda. Yeah. So that's where I work. That's I'm, but I'm not a cashier there. Like I said, I'm a part of the management team, but you might like it give them a uh, you should apply if you have one near you it's not a bad place to work especially if you're a cashier you just ring and like you put tickets on items in between customers super easy and if you're really lucky you can put be put on the truck team and you'll barely have to ring they were hiring recently what uh I'm trying to think of what stores it is we have by mentor by mentor let me see is it mentor I know we have a store very close to Columbus. I can't think of which store it is, though. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, thinking out loud. Um, oh, they've got one in Columbus on South High Street. Is that the one you're talking about? The one that's in Columbus? Well, because if it was a certain store, I could just reach out to the manager and have him pull your app. Um, but if it's that one, I don't think I am acquainted enough with uh, the person running the place.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, uh, I, you can apply through, yep, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. You can apply through Indeed, um, the Indeed.com job hunting website. Apply through there and, uh, or in person, they might, they might still have paper applications. I know we don't, but they might, I don't know. It's probably unlikely though. Your best bet is probably to apply via Indeed or the website. And yeah. What'll help is, I don't know what your availability is, but having open availability will help a lot. Oh, you don't have, uh, you're an undergrad, right? Yeah, I don't think you do have open availability. Is that why you didn't get the, um, the giant eagle position? Was it your availability? Yeah, classes, that's what I thought. Yeah, feel free to DM me on Discord. What a crazy turn of events. No, it's more or less they listed an ad for cashier and then it was filled instantly. Okay. Oh, look at this stupid fish. You're not getting out of here, Pike. You better get back in the tank, boy. I don't even know if that was one of mine, but he needed to go back in there. I really wish there was a better way to light up the... You know what I'm going to show you guys? I'm going to show you how sweet the swamp keys are for natural light. All right, I see you said something. Let me take a look. I am not familiar with that, no. I could... Um, I could ask my boss, though, and see if he knows the manager. He might be able to do something, but it's unlikely. If I don't know the person, my boss probably isn't willing to reach out. It would have been something I would have to do. But you should apply, though. They're always hiring. Like, we're always hiring people. The turnover rate in retail is just really bad. It's probably being dealing with the public. I would imagine some people just aren't cut out for the public. I've been in retail for, um, ooh, the potions are done. 13 years? Yeah. Yeah, I've been in retail for 13 years. Um, I tried other fields. I didn't really, I didn't really like it. The, some of the other things I tried, I, I mean, I've just always come back to retail. I've never been out long. All right, here we go. So we just need to figure out how to make a better stamina food. Or maybe I should just bring honey. I'm just going to bring honey because I don't have anything to make better stamina food with. Okay. Okay. We've got... Let's put the carrots away. Oh, wait. We should probably make more of these. I think we can. Carrot soup. Deer stew. What is this? This is uh, minced meat sauce. Oh, we ran out of necktails. That's why. We don't have any more of those. Okay, we'll put this back. And this back. 
And... Yeah, that's everything. I think we're ready to go. I can't think of any reason why we shouldn't go. We'll sleep so we don't go at nighttime. But yeah, so as soon as it becomes daytime, we're heading to the mountains. Awesome. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to get... We need 20 fine wood for another portal. Ooh. That was a rough landing. Even rougher. I'm gonna die at my own base. I do all the time. Not a good time to run into a brute either. <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> uh, the brute only did one damage to me though it must be the fully upgraded iron yeah that's gotta be it um are you able to hang item stands from trees There's raspberries over there. All right, we're gonna give this guy a super smack. Oh, he didn't go very far though. Well, I don't actually have the materials on me, so I'm not able to place it, but this is like, green it's not red oh but it's like green and everything oh okay never mind i was getting excited thinking i could hang cool lights from the the tree i have in my base but i don't think that's gonna work We need nine more fine wood. And then we'll, we'll be ready to go. Did we get both logs? Yeah, I think that we did. We're just going to grab this resin, though. That's got to be enough. Oh, oh, I have one in the base. I know that. And if I don't, I'll destroy an item stand somewhere because I don't have any more birch trees in the close proximity. I do have these raspberry bushes, though. Oh, let me put on my nifty new headlamp. There we go. We are good to go. Let's drop the stone. Very nice. We're just going to check this other raspberry bush area and then we'll run back.
That's what, eight raspberries? Nice. We should be able to make some more muck shakes. Actually, gonna drop those. I don't know where all these skellies came from. There better not be a, a swamp raid incoming. I got the treasure that was here last night, as soon as I got back with the wishbone. Alright, yep, we are short. One fine wood, so we are going to... Destroy that item stand. All right. So we're going to bring wood and resin. We'll leave three of these here. We'll get the ten great orf eyes. The muck shake requires one, two, and two. We can swing that. Has anybody gone out to see the Nun 2 yet? Put the honey back. We got all of the potions we could need. Put that there. Um, so that's emergency potion. Bring some more resin and some more wood. We didn't get enough damn fine wood. Conjuring three? Was it called Conjuring three? I don't remember. Oh, the devil made me do it. Okay. Yeah, I remember that one. Like, did for a second there, I was way behind on catching up with what it was you were talking about. I totally spaced out and forgot that that one existed. That one's okay. It's not my favorite. I enjoyed it. I thoroughly did enjoy it, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. Um, I really enjoy the Conjuring movies. Like, the whole universe, all the Nun movies, um, the A Annabelle movies. Yeah, I'm very much a fan of all of those.
I didn't know there was a Netflix documentary coming out. That'll be pretty sweet. When's that supposed to come out? We have two too many. We're going to put two back. All right. We have our portal to place when we get there. We have a bit of wood to start building with. We are pretty well pre prepared. All right, let's go. Go into the swamp. And then from the swamp, we will run here. I know there's a mountain here, but I don't know how much of a mountain. think there's much it's called the devil on trial sweet dude that'll be a really cool um like october thing to watch we love halloween and all of the month of october in this house yeah it's gonna be sweet we're all big so james wan the guy behind all the conjuring movies he also does the Insidious movies. They're not as good as the Conjuring movies, but I still really enjoy those as well. James Wan, man, he is like a master of making scary movies. And Michael Flanagan, uh, he's the one that makes the good scary Netflix shows. Those are all pretty good too. I even liked the most recent one that wasn't very scary, but it was still good. Very sad, but good. I'm looking for... A really big mountain area. Okay, so... We're gonna go... Just dragged on for me. Yeah. I understand you're older than I, but ever watched Goosebumps? Yes, I watch Goosebumps with the kiddos. Yeah, we all are big fans of Goosebumps. Actually, speaking of Goosebumps and of Ollie's, at my store, we just got um, a ton of these, like, uh, volumes. I don't know how to call it, but you could get, like, 12 Goosebumps books and we have like three different sets you can basically you can come in and get like 30 different Goosebumps books for like 20 bucks okay I'm not going to go to the mountain here in order to save time for the stream I that's hella cheap and I'd so snag that deal. Yeah. Well, it might not really be for 20 bucks. Let me... There's a 12 book thing that you can buy. Um, I get a 20% discount. So for me, it would be pretty close to 20 bucks. But 
I think it's like $16 for the 12 count. And then we have a six count for like, it might be $9.99 or something. So it's probably really closer to 30. Um, but you can, yeah, you can get a lot of Goosebumps books for a really cheap price. So like just the 12 pack, I think is 16 bucks, maybe 17 bucks. Um, and that's without the 20% discount. That's just, you know, the everybody price, which in that pack on its own is a good deal. And then we have the smaller six pack. Like we have one that has like six different flap, uh, slappy books. My kids really like slappy. In fact, they were slappy for Halloween last year. Or one of them was they, they both weren't slappy. Um, yeah, but so that picture that I used, I kind of cheated to find the trader because I didn't want to spend the entire stream swimming around looking for the trader. Um, but in that picture, I took a peek at the mountain by the swamp base to see if it was worth exploring. It's not. It's a very, very small mountain area. However, southeast of us is a gigantic mountain area. Like, it's a massive mountain area. So we're going to go there. I would say relative to the trader, it is probably about here. Actually, not even that far down. I would say probably about here. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna sail there. Slappy in general has been around for ages. They brought him back so many times just because of how con iconic he is as a villain. Yeah, so Netflix has I don't know if they still do, but they did have um, a few episodes from the show, and the Slappy episodes were really good. And the movies, both the mo like the new modern movies, feature Slappy as the primary villain. He'd be on par with Chucky. Yeah, I like Slappy too. And he's funny. And like the old school Italian thing is like, that's just funny to me. Uh, yeah, I really like Slappy as well. And Goosebumps in general is just cool. I really, I really don't like a lot of kids shows, um, but I have no problem sitting down to watch Goosebumps with the kids, dude. I love Goosebumps. All right. So it would be oh, it would be a little further out. It would probably be right about here. Yeah, they had like the first two seasons that I'd always watch them. R.L. Stein wrote amazing books. Yeah, man, absolutely. And I remember the the werewolf one where the kid moves to the swamp and his neighbor's a werewolf. I remember that from when I was like a young kid, like eight or nine. And so to see it on Netflix and be able to watch it with my nine year old. Oh, man, what an experience, dude. Because that was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. They didn't enjoy that one as much as I did, but yeah, they still liked it. All right, so we are going to we're going to re up our rested bonus and then we're going to set sail for the mountains. So if we're looking at the map, the mountain that we're going to sail to is probably I would say 
it's a little spread out. It's a little more narrow, so it's not a big circle. It's a little thinner and stretched out. But if you bunched it all together, it would be about the size of this black forest, which is pretty hefty. I mean, that's not a, a super small size. It's not gigantic, but most of the, um, you know, most of the islands are not that big. But yeah, so the mountain that we're going to is about this size. All right, we got our rested bonus. Here we go. Nothing in there. Do I have a little extra wood to bring? I don't. We're going to bring five stone. And we don't need any of this stuff. I'll eat one of these. And I need... I do want to bring a little extra wood with us, though. Don't need that. I'm going to check this dump chest right here and the resource chest. Oh, never mind. This is enough wood. We're just going to take this with us. I'd like to have some starting wood so we could throw up, you know, uh, some structures pretty quickly. Say goodbye to our fish. Bye bye, fish. I will see you soon. Oh, yeah, look at you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool, dude. I should make a video on that aquarium. I should, like... Yeah. You think that would be a good video? Think people would click to watch that? Whoops. Oh my god, I swear every time we set sail, we have to we're we're going against the wind every time. What an unbelievable turn of events. God damn. gave him that running punch okay here we go
Oh, nice. The stream is sitting at seven likes. Let's see if we can pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Don't forget to like to show Bjorn to your support. He needs all the support he can get on this treacherous journey to the mountains. We're going to embark on an adventure like no one has ever seen. And he needs all the support he can get. Also, don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow for more. We stream Valheim every weekday at 5 p.m. EST. And starting tomorrow, we're going to start streaming Project Zomboid on the weekends. The time of that, I'm not sure. Probably really early. Honestly, I'll probably start streaming Project Zomboid at like 6 a.m. If not earlier than that. Hey, welcome back, Pancake. Did you have a good breakfast? Nice, very nice. We are sailing to this spot right here this contains a pretty good sized mountain and that's where we're gonna establish an outpost and i brought what did i bring i brought i brought some good starting wood Got enough stone to make a fire, some wood, some resin for some torches if we need, and enough stuff to make a portal. So, we'll have a pretty good head start once we get there. And we've got all these frost resist potions for good defense against the cold. Oh, there's a serpent. There's a serpent, though. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is it. Oh, there's land, though. Okay. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, maybe he didn't want to bother us. Very good. Okay, very good. I thought this was the way out, though. But I see now that it is not. We need to go north a little bit. The way out is up here somewhere. But I really don't want to be going against the wind when there's a serpent near... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a serpent in the waters over there. And here I am, like a sitting duck. I don't like that at all. Especially I've got all my best stuff, my wishbone, all my good stuff on me. Oh yeah. Definitely don't like this. Man. The wind has just been brutal to us. There's gotta be... 
a river coming up soon. Oh, I think I see it up ahead. Yeah, okay. That's our way out. It's nice to know I've got a serpent in my waters. What made you start streaming Pancake? Um... That's a good question, and I'll tell you what. I started my YouTube journey with making videos, and I've never streamed before. I started streaming like two weeks ago, maybe not even two weeks, like less than two weeks. Um, and to be honest, I just wanted to see if I was... Um, if I was able to configure the settings properly. I just wanted to see if I could get the settings right to if I ever wanted to stream, if I could stream. Because I used Streamlabs in the past and I never had luck. I always had like uh, latency issues and video skipping and stuttering. And I was just, and I have a good computer. I was just never able to get the settings right. So like two weeks ago, I decided to mess around with it and see if I could get the settings right. And, uh, I was able to. And I just haven't stopped streaming since. I've streamed every day since then. Thank you, Pancake. I appreciate that. I do. I'm having a an issue with thumbnails, though. I, I don't seem to be very good at making thumbnails. I have a really poor click-through rate. Which is... Um... When somebody sees my thumbnail the percentage of people that actually click on it to watch is very, very low on average. So I am not very good at making thumbnails. Okay, we're back in open waters. Honestly, the and what I've learned about streaming in these last two weeks, I, I haven't amassed the biggest following, but for two weeks, I think, uh, I think I've been doing pretty good. For having only done it for two weeks, I started a, a Discord. I've got five or six people in the Discord. Um, I've got regular viewers that have come back every day. And, you know, some people might stream for months or a year and not have that. So I, I feel pretty good about it. And uh, the kind words are always appreciated, Pancake, so thank you. But my point was, I'm sorry, I get rambling sometimes. Ooh, another Leviathan. Um... The trick to, uh, not the trick, but one of the things you have to do when you stream is you have to be vocal. Even if you don't have anything to say, you have to be saying something. Because not everybody is, you know, as popular as Dr. Disrespect. He can, he can afford not to, you know what, I don't need any more chitin. We're not going to do this right now. He doesn't have to talk every second of the stream because... He's already built his following, his fan base. Because people know when he does talk, it's going to be worth listening to. Yeah. Boy, I love the oceans in this game. They're scary as hell, but they look really cool. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Another serpent. All right, kick it into third gear. Here we go.
serpent stew yeah if i wasn't carrying all my best stuff and on a mission i would stay to fight that serpent oh he's still tailing me oh <laughs> i didn't know that i thought he was gone oh man serpents are so terrifying there he is Well, I will be here every day from now on unless something happens like I'm busy. No worries, Pancake. I appreciate you stopping by and your support, man. It's awesome. Okay. I don't know if this is the mountain we're looking for. I'm going to have to slow down. That serpent isn't still tailing us, is it? Okay, let me look here. Um, it's hard to tell, but I think we are pretty close to where we want to be. The only way I can know for sure is if I turn around. Yeah, let me loop around and go this other way. And I'll be able to tell for certain if we're in the right place. Uh-oh. I don't feel good about this. Oh, those fish just gave me a heart attack. My goodness. I thought he was right there. Oh. Now would be a really good time to fish. Um. There's a lot of fish right there. Uh-oh, a storm's brewing. So, I don't know if this is where we want to be, if I can loop around the top of this island. And that should lead us to a good um, place to get off the boat and travel up the hill, or the mountain rather. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Because I don't see a mountain. So I don't know if this is where we want to be or not. I think once I have the Draugr bow, which is the next bow that I can unlock and craft, once I have that bow, I think I'll be ready to fight some serpents. Okay, so we were able to loop around. Uh, 
All right, so on the eastern side of this mountain, there is a forest that is really close to the mountain. It's a really good place to dock the boat and go. Hey, bro, I have to go do stuff with my Sherman Shepherd. I might be back, but if not, I will see you tomorrow. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by, Pancake. Appreciate the support, as always. Have a good time with the Shepherd, buddy. And I will see you tomorrow. I will be around tomorrow. I'll be streaming Project Zomboid super, super early in the morning. And have a good night, man. German, not Sherman. Yeah, I figured as much. You're fine, buddy. I hope you like Project Zomboid, because that's what we're streaming tomorrow. And I anticipate on dying a lot. It's a very, very tough game, but very, very fun. Oh, you do play it a lot? Nice, dude. Sick. So you can help me out then, because I am not very good. I'll take all the advice you can offer tomorrow when I'm streaming it. But in the meantime, I hope you have a good night, man. And make sure you give your German Shepherd extra pets. For sure. Hell yeah. Okay. So there's that. If that's there, then right after we get past this swamp, we will be where we want to be to dock the boat and travel up the mountain. Wolves are very dangerous, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm kind of nervous about dealing with those. But they can't be as bad as Bone Mass. I mean, we fought and crushed Bone Mass. So I think we'll be all right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, and not only are, are there wolves, but there are ice golems. Ice golems. Yep. And there's those big, uh, big, like, caverns to explore. Like a real dungeon to explore, not just a small crypt. That'll be cool. event you were hunted 20 plus wolf shows up to hunt you oh my god <laughs> i am not looking forward to that you know what Vale? i could have gone my whole life without knowing that information <laughs> oh and it's storming oh no we don't have any wind and it's storming and we're in the ocean biome not good at all well we've got a tiny bit of wind if we face this way a bit we're pretty much at the end of the boat journey though realistically this is where we want to dock right here Oh, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's the mountain. Okay. Oh, look at that fish. My goodness. My goodness. I need to catch that. Oh, my God. That is a giant. Oh, I don't have my fishing pole. Did anybody see the size of that fish? My goodness. That would look so good in my fish tank. Oh, man. I can't believe I don't have my fishing pole. What a bummer. What a bummer. I hope that fish doesn't despawn. I don't know how the fish works in this game, but I hope it doesn't despawn. All right, grab our wood. A resin or five stone. Grab a few more stones. Is that t that's 11 stone, very good. Oh my gosh, look at all these guys. All right, we better eat some food. There we go. Not this time, buddy. Okay. We're finally at a stage where, like, even great orf brutes pose no threat anymore, which is nice. It's nice to be in a position like that because if this is copper, this is a great spot for copper. Oh, of course it's stone. We got some tin down there, though. Is there a chest in here? Yeah, we're gonna loot this chest. Ooh, we don't need that. We want this. Uh, really, realistically, there's nothing else in here that we can get rid of. We need everything we have. All right. To be honest, I shouldn't be worried about that anyways, because we need to find a way up the mountain. I don't know. I don't know how the hell we're going to scale that. Wow, look at it. Look at all the possibilities up there. Oh, that's going to make for a good screenshot. I think it's F5. Control F5. Alt F5. Control F3. There it is. That makes for a good screenshot. Okay. Oh, this is a copper deposit. And it is by the water. But I don't know. Ooh, we could swing a boat in here. Yeah, this might not. We're going to mark this because this might not be too difficult of a place to get copper. I think we'll be able to scale this if we just just run up there. You know what I mean? We just run up the side. I think there's more copper right over there. Dang, yeah, there's more copper right here. We're going to mark this, too. Okay. Let's get across the water. Now, we've got our pickaxe out, so we can run up. And then once we get to like 20 stamina, we'll slam a hole in the wall. All right, we'll rest. Let our stamina recharge back up. We got two really good copper veins. 
right next to the mouth of the river. So all we would have to do is get rid of that little stone right there. We can bring our big ass boat right in here, park it and mine the heck out of this copper. Okay, let's go back up. And then again, once we get to about 20 stamina, put another hole. Uh-oh. All right, we, we messed up. Let's catch a plant. Okay, uh-oh, 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 oh. oh. We messed up, guys. <laughs> That's all right. Problem was, is we waited too long to put the hole in. Okay, there we go. And then we have another hole right there we can run to. Oh, we didn't make it. Oh my gosh, we are having a very difficult time right now. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty steep hill. Okay, here we go. Okay. Boy, I really hope we don't run into... You are being hunted. Vale, you cursed me. You cursed me. They're gonna have a very difficult time getting me here, though. Oh, here they come. Look at them all. Oh, my God. Oh, they're everywhere. Fail, you curse me. Oh, Veil. I, oh, you curse me, Veil. You curse me. <laughs> oh. That sucks more than any words could say. I have no other supplies or way of getting there. Not only that, but my spawn point is here and my portal is not connected to the base. Oh, dude, I don't even know what to do. I saved 17 minutes ago. Can I quit without saving? How do I crash the game? Can I just crash the game? I'm just going to end the process of the game. Because not only... Not only did I die, which is fine. I have no problem dying and getting back to my corpse. However, I disconnected the portal to the traitor so I could set up a portal to the mountain base. And my my spawn point is set at the trader outpost. So I don't even have a way of getting to my main base to like build a new boat. Yeah, I'm just gonna crash the game. I'm gonna put this on the intermission screen for the stream, but I'm still here. Okay, and let's go to the task manager. Valheim and task. Okay, can you still hear me, Vale? Vale. 
thankfully the save was far enough back that I'll probably be somewhere in the water getting ready to park. All right, switching back to the live scene now. <laughs> Vale, you cursed me. <laughs> I was in the mountain, the mountain biome for like 30 seconds before I got hunted by wolves. No. The game wasn't saved. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Yep, I know exactly what to do. Three wood and two stone for a hammer. All right, I know what to do. Worry not. We just need to destroy this bed and then die. And then I'll spawn at the stones, which are right next to the base. And then I'll be able to craft a new boat and get, get to the mountain. Oh, Vail. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this happened. I was at this I was in the mountains for 30 seconds before I got ambushed and hunted by wolves. I can't fight the skeleton right now, dude. God damn it. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm not going to be able to even destroy my own bed cuz that skeleton's going to be outside the base the whole time. What a shitty position I'm in right now. Ugh. And I crashed the game. The last save was 18 minutes ago. I don't understand how... Um... The game even spawned me back at this point. I crashed the game, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, here we go. We'll get there. Oh, this goddamn skeleton again. Dude, I don't have time for you. For anybody tuning in, we've made it to the mountains, which was our destination. And on the way there, ooh, the skeleton got us the wood we needed. Thank you, buddy. And on the way there, Vale, a uh, viewer at the moment, said, wait until you get hunted by 20 plus wolves. And then 30 seconds after getting to the mountains, I got hunted by wolves. And they killed the heck out of me. And I died, which is okay. Not only did I die, but I didn't spawn at my base. I spawned, which is here. I spawned at the trader outpost that I have, which again is fine. However, the portal I have for my trader outpost and my home base are currently disconnected. Which poses a big issue. So what we're doing now... Is we gathered enough resources to destroy this bed. So 
so we can... What's happening? Did my game crash? I think my game crashed. Oh, no it didn't. Okay. Alright, so we destroyed the bed and the spawn point. So now we're gonna die by the skelly and spawn at our base. Oh, my game really did legitimately crash that time. That's nice. That's actually the first time Valheim has ever crashed for me. I've never had the game crash before. Man, we are just having a really rough go at it. Five backups. Okay. Can I? Oh, so I could just load an older save? I'm gonna do that. Let's see. 757. Restore backup. Yes. Okay, so I restored it. Now what? Yes. Oh, so I got to do one of these. Okay. I don't understand. Do I just load the game now? Do I move to local? What am I? How do I launch the game from this save? Move to cloud. Can I not do that? Is it just going to load? Oh, it'll probably just load the save at the top. The topmost save, maybe? So I'm just going to hit start and see what happens. Um, okay, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. Fail. I don't know what is going on, dude. So that's where my... Oh, dude, what the fuck is going on? This wouldn't be unlocked unless that's where my boat is right now. But if I'm here, I don't understand how I'm here. I loaded an older save, so I should be there where the boat is, right? That, may, that would make sense to me. I've got all my stuff. I think if I do... Mountain... 01... I can go back to my home base. Okay. Hopefully my boat is outside the base. 
and it is not. So how in the hell did I end up? How in the hell did I end up there with all my stuff, but not my boat? And my boat's gone out in the ocean somewhere. Oh, that's so frustratingly annoying. Can't believe any of this happened. A hundred iron nails, forty fine wood, forty ancient bark. Oh, I don't have any of that. Let's start this process over again, I guess. I don't understand what happened to my game. It's like halfway broken right now. God damn. I don't think I can. I'm going to have to... I think I have... Raft time? No, I'm gonna build another big boat. I'm not sailing those open seas on anything but a longship. I, I have enough iron. I should have enough ancient bark, and if I don't, I do have a swamp outpost. Um that I can go to. So that will give me four more ingots. With that, I can make 40 more nails. The only way I can get the final iron is by destroying this, which I will do happily. So I can get iron another time, but I'm not mining right now. But we are going to have to get the fine wood. I don't have any fine wood. How much ancient bark do I have? 30. All right, so I'm short. 10 ancient bark. Okay. All right, with one more of these, I will have five irons I can make 50 more nails with. Ancient bark will be easy to get, the fine wood will be easy to get, and then I, I should have the deer hide. Veil, <laughs> buddy. All right, fifty more nails coming right up.
Yeah, I should have built uh, an emergency outpost at the base of the mountain before going up the mountain. I don't know why I didn't, but I'm definitely going to this time. All right, so we've got the six that... All right, we'll start with getting 10 more ancient bark. Start with that. We'll get the 10 more ancient bark and then we'll get the, the all the fine wood we need. Let's get our Oh, we've already got a rusted bonus still. I think I just went to the wrong portal. Yeah, I sure did. What sucks about this, though, is my trader portal now is going to always be called Mountain 01 unless I sail back to the trader to rename it. But that's a minor issue. That just sucks. You know, no big deal, though. Okay. Nope, no ancient bark in there. Got plenty of trees right around here, though. There we go. We only need 10 more ancient bark. That gave us five. Stamina build back up a bit. Here we go. We got our ancient bark. Let's go back to the home base. We'll get our fine wood. And we will start journey attempt number two. Okay. There we go. All right. We need... All right. 100 iron nails, check. 40 ancient bark, check. 10 deer hide and 40 fine wood. All right. Oh, it's one too many. Ten deer hide. Check. And we need thirty. Four, 30, oh, I had 12 ancient bark right here. Unbelievable. I didn't even need to go get that ancient bark. I had it in a different box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. How are my turnips doing? They're healthy. Good. At least those are healthy. At the base, you can rename the trader portal again and make another portal. Wait, what? Go through and rename the portal to connect. All right, so 
I would make a new portal at my main base and rename it Mountain One. Wow. Oh, okay, okay. So the portal I have at my base that's currently connected to the trader, I could rename it Trader or something, Trader Portal. And then I would build a second portal at my base, name it Mountain One, travel to it, and then change it at the portal, or I'm sorry, change the one that's at the trader to trader one, then travel back through it, and I'll come out the other end at the new portal I built, and then I could destroy the old one, or rename it to whatever I want. Very good. Thank you, Vale. You know what? You, you made up for cursing me. You've redeemed yourself for cursing me. Thank you so much. All right. Let's get... I don't see any birch trees. I see one way over there. Oh, here's an oak tree. I wish Hanzo was here to see this. There's a big ass oak tree right there. Okay, there's a birch tree. Watch out for them ice golems at the mountain. Yo, I'd rather fight an ice golem than a pack of wolves. Like, seriously. <laughs> Straight up, I would. The problem with wolves is there's so many of them. With an ice golem, you have just one guy you have to block and worry about. With wolves, there's a bunch of them. Man, I can't believe I got hunted as soon as I got there. I didn't even finish making it up the mountain. <laughs> I was still scaling the side of the mountain when they started hunting me. Ugh. Okay, birch, birch. Ooh, we'll get the raspberries. Always grab the raspberries while we're out. And, oh yeah. This is a nice selection of raspberries. Very good. I don't see any birch trees, man, anywhere. see one over there in the distance. Oh, there's one too. They're all hiding. For anyone just tuning in, we made it to the mountain. Um, we were scaling up the side of it when we got hunted by wolves, which is an event that happens. And they killed us. Um, so then we died and now we're building a new boat to go back to where we died, which is the mountain that we're trying to get to to build an outpost. We'll get there. Twenty-one. It'll be easier this time because we know where we're going. We know how to prevent that from happening again. Um, so we're in better shape this time. Okay, big old chop. Also, for anybody just tuning in, don't forget to like the video to show Bjork too some support. He needs all the support he can get as he builds his new boat and goes to the mountains. Hopefully all those wolves are gone. Hope they're not camping his corpse. Hey, Vale. Here's a thought. What if his corpse is still there? What if he does have a corpse? What if I accidentally found a way to dupe my items? Which I didn't want to happen. It was all unintentional. But that is entirely a possibility. Because the boat was still there. Interesting. I guess we're going to find out. Um, also for anyone just tuning in, after we died, we tried to load an older save and we were able to, but it didn't spawn us back on the boat where we were. It spawned us at a 
one of my outposts, but it gave me all my stuff back. So I was still dead, but I had my gear. Um, it was a very weird outcome. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, let's drop... We need to drop something here. We'll drop that. And we have enough wood. So where are we? All right. Let's put the axe away. And we are running. We are running. Ooh, raspberries. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Eight bushes. Oh, I have the spot marked. Okay, good. But eight bushes is a very good selection of raspberries. There's some raspberries right there, but we don't need those right now. Whoa. Okay. Do we need anything? Okay. There we go. All right, we are back at the base. Pick up this iron, no room in inventory. That's fair. So we'll dump some stuff like this, 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 and this, and this. In that chest, then we'll pick this up. And... We'll bring this into the base. This is our very last iron. We have one iron. Okay. Dump that. We'll take this, this, and this. And our portal stuff. Or let's go place the boat and we'll come back to that. We don't have enough room in our inventory until we place the boat. Boy, that tree is cool. Our fish tank is very, very cool. Water's looking pretty shallow right now. I actually don't see my fish swimming around. I always get concerned when I can't immediately see my fish. I always worry that they got out. They're in there, they're just hard to see sometimes. Especially at night. But I, I have five or six fish in there, swimming around. Okay. We will place a... Boat? Alright, actually we will place a workbench. So we can place the boat out further in the water. Okay, boat is in the water. We will store our building supplies we are bringing with us. We will go get our frost resist potions and our portal supplies. Look at all those birds. I'm gonna have to shoot these birds. There's three of them right there in the base. I missed one.
And there's a deer. Got one bird. Having a major stamina deficiency. There we go. And another. All right. All right, got all the birds. What the heck is that? Oh my God, what was that? That scared the crap out of me. I think I seen that guy before. Oh, it's another bird. What is going on? We only got eight feathers. I feel like we're short of feather. Okay, we're going to grab our portal supplies and our potions. We're going to take this, 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 and this. We'll take that single wood too. And... Oh, I need to... Shoot. So I changed. So I'm going to change this to mountain. O. Mountain. OP. OP. One. Oh. I'm going to change this. Mount. OP. One. Okay. That way, when I get to where I'm going, I could change the portal. Or I could set the portal to mount OP1 and be able to go back if I die. Which appears to be a likely event to happen. Okay. I think we are good to go. We're going to have a pretty hard time getting out of here, though. I picked a really bad spot to drop the boat. Okay. See about pushing the front of this out some. All right, come on, dude, get out of here. I don't have time for your shenanigans. We've got a second journey to make. All right. Let me just use the wind to blast through where we're going. Oh. Is that gonna work? Sure. That worked well enough. We didn't do that much damage. Okay. For anyone tuning in, we are going to the mountains. We're gonna follow this course here. We'll probably go left more though. Follow this course here. And the mountain we're going to is here. Oh. We already got there once, and then we died as soon as we got there. We, uh, we survived for about 30 seconds in the mountains, and then we got hunted by wolves. Um, so we're going back. Alright, this looks to be good enough. And I happen to know that there's a serpent in these waters. Ooh, that's a little bit more damage than I would feel comfortable with, but there's not much we can do about it now. We're going.
Um, we can go right a little bit. We can go a little more right. There we go. We're going to equip these. And we are watching for the serpent. And there he is. Oh, that was fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was him. It looked like his fin circling. Because he does that. He'll he'll circle. And that's what really... I really thought that's... Okay. That wasn't though, so we're good. Whoa, look at that fish. We are in the ocean biome, traveling against the wind. And we are not near the coast. We are really in the ocean biome. This is not a good place to be. Okay. All right, that was just a fish. World save in 30 seconds, okay. Oh, there's another coral cod. I'm I'm going to have to bring my fishing pole out here. And catch some more of those coral cods. Those look great in the fish tank. Sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy. I, I like to keep an eye out for serpents because I, I'm genuinely spooked out by them. And the ocean, if I'm being honest. Alright. Seems we um, avoided... The big danger. That water looks pretty shallow. Right there. Ooh. It's hard to tell which side is the safer side to sail through. Um, this looks okay. I think. Okay, apparently it wasn't. <laughs> apparently it wasn't. Oh, there's still no wind. Ice golems. Those are the only creatures to ro uh Oh no, there's the drakes. Those drop the frozen glands. Okay. Oh, and there's those big eggs. All right. Some of the stuff's starting to come back to me. We still have no wind, which is pretty typical. I don't know what it is, but I'm cursed when it comes to sailing. Whenever I set out on a voyage, I'm always going against the wind.
Holy crap, I didn't know I could do that. Look at the mini map. You can make the mini map go in and out. And that's cool, so I don't have to keep pulling the map up all the time. I'll probably still do that, but it's nice to know that I don't have to. Oh, there's a Leviathan. We're not going to do anything about that right now, though. We've got enough chitin for the time being. Oh, uh, here we go. The wind direction better change. Oh my gosh, look at these waves. There it is. There's the serpent, and we've got no wind. Damn it. We're going to have to make a hard left and get out of here. Oh, there he is, boys. This is it. This is the one. Oh, this is it. He's out there. Where'd he go? Damn. Really didn't want to have to go off course. But we have no choice. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's two Leviathans. Man, I have... I might have bad luck with the wind, but I have good luck with the Leviathans. Alright, so I haven't seen that serpent since the first time we saw him. Which is pretty interesting. This is quite, quite the weather we're having. Go right a little bit. Definitely don't want to lose the wind. Not no, not in these waters. There he is. Oh, I almost swam right into him. Oh, look at him. Oh. Oh, he's coming. This is it, boys! We pissed him off now! Did I hit him? Oh, I think I did! I don't think- Oh, I hit him that time, too! Not that time, though. We lost him for the time being. Because we are moving fast, my goodness. I never thought I'd say this. Oh, shoot, there he is. We didn't lose him. Where is he? Oh, no, don't punch your boat, my man. Oh, crap. Go right, go right, go right. We need to have at least some wind in our favor. Whoa, dude, these waters are wild. This is scary. Oh my goodness. Boats can't capsize, can they? I don't see that serpent anywhere. Oh, it looks like the storm's going away. I think we can get back on course now. Looks like the wind is going to let us do that a little bit. 
Yeah. Oh man. What? What an adventure. I I shot that serpent a couple times. If I would have had better equipment, we probably could have had a real good fight with him and won and got that nice serpent meat. He's probably gone though now. He probably left with the storm. However, I don't know if that's the case. Looks like the storm didn't clear up as much as I thought it was going to. It's still kind of... There he is. I see you, buddy. Oh. What did we do? Did we just swim back into the eye of the storm? Like, what's going on here? I thought we made it out. Did I hit him again? Alright, we're gonna want to hook some lefts here. And hook some more lefts. But not too many lefts. We still want some of the wind. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at, you bastard? Show yourself. Oh. I can't fall off the boat, can I? I better grab onto the rudder just in case. I don't see him anywhere. I wish I could... Oh, I can zoom out more. Okay. That's helpful. Yep. Oh, there he is. Ooh! Oh! Shoot! problem with the way the wind is facing is to have the wind in our favor we've got to sail towards land and I don't want to run into the land okay oh no we are currently not moving there we go we're moving again. We're moving again. Come here, you bastard. Oh, he still have his full health bar. What? I shot him a bunch of times. How does he still have full health? Jesus. Come on. Oh, that fish scared me. Get out of here, fish. We hit him. How much damage is our... Oh, we're at half health. We got to get out of these waters. We're, we're not going to make it. He's at half health, though. If we're ever going to take down a serpent, right now is the time. Where is he? We are too, we are surfing this wave right now. I see him over there. Come on, you shithead. All right, we're gonna wanna make a left. Boy, we have been dancing with this serpent. One of us is not going to come out of this alive. And it's probably going to be him because I am not having luck with the wind. It's like, and whenever the waters are steady like this, 
Oh. There he is. Okay. I wonder if I would have better luck using my flint head arrows than these fire arrows. Fire arrows do... Oh, the fire arrows only do 11 pierce versus the 27. Because he's not going to catch on fire. He's literally in the ocean. Where's she at? There she is. There she is. Oh no, she's gone again. I'm moving too fast. Is that it? How'd it get over there? That can't be it. That had to have been a fish or something. And this thing is not wanting to leave the storm. There's the Leviathans. I don't see... Oh. We're definitely not going to want to go that way. We're going to want to hook a hard left. We have been dancing with this serpent for too long for it to get away now. So we're riding back into the storm. Full speed ahead best as we can. We are going to get that serpent. We are going to get that serpent. It's going to be our first serpent kill in this world. Actually, it'll be our first serpent kill um, solo like ever. I don't think I've ever soloed a serpent. I've only ever helped kill a serpent, either steering the boat or shooting arrows. Okay. What if I play bait? What if I just kind of float around, see if he shows up? No. Damn it. Where did he go? That is most unfortunate. Oh, there he is. I see him now. Come on, dude. I got the right arrows out this time. Where are you? Where'd he go? If he's the big bad ruler of the sea, why is he hiding from me like this? Alright. So he's that way, but if I go that way... I'll have to go against the wind. Oh, no, maybe not. I'll have some wind in my favor. He was in this general direction. We don't have much boat life left. We just have to make sure we don't hit him. I think as long as we don't hit him, we'll be okay. 
There, is, there she is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. We gotta stay our course. Oh, why is she back there still? What is she doing? She's not leaving that area. She, she wants me to sit, and I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna play... I'm not gonna do this on her terms. Come on. We're going to hook a hard left. Where'd she go? Slow down. And then shoot that speed back up. Let's straighten her out. We've got a plenty of arrows left. Where is she? We lost the wind. That's not good. This is not good. Let's just kind of sail around. There she is. All right, we're going to hook a hard left and speed up out of here. And while we're doing that, we're going to light her up. Come on. I can't see. I think I hit her. All right, whip this boat around. Mm. Don't lose the wind. Oh yeah, we're gonna get her, dude. I'm gonna make stew out of you. Okay, hard right, hard right. Gonna slow down. We're gonna hit first gear. We're gonna make a hard right. Okay, where is she? Keep an eye out for her. Let's go into second gear. This way. We'll straighten out. We're still at half health. She's got half health, we've got half health. But I think our health bar will last longer than hers. Uh, it's dark now. There she is. Oh, why did I do that? Stop punching the boat, War 2, you stupid idiot. Oh, yeah. We've got her. We've got her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got her. Come on. Stamina potion? Yeah, take it. There you go. Light her up. This is it. This is it. Hard left. No, no, no. Hard right. Hard right. Hard right. Slow it down. First gear. Alright. Second gear. Hard left. There she is. There she is. Don't lose eyes on her. She's right there. There she is. Alright. 
you're going to want to straighten out. You're going to drop it in first gear. We are sitting. No, no, no. Get a little closer. Get a little closer. Okay. Make a little bit of a right. We want to be broadside with her. And we're going to drop it into first gear. Where is she? She's right in there. Okay. All right. Hard right. All right. Kick it into third gear. Get that hard right going. Is she running? Is she on the run? Okay. Drop it into first gear. Hard right. Broadside. Light her up. Got her. Oh, we got her. Yeah. <laughs> we are king of the seas. Oh, yeah. We got her, boys. We got her. I knew we were going to get her. I knew it. All right. Boy, we danced with her for a long time. So what, do you just run straight over the, the serpent meat? Do you pick it up if you just run it over? I don't think I've ever actually done this part. Please tell me you don't have to get in the water. Okay. Let's store. Where's all the meat I picked up? There it is. Okay. Turn around. Get those last couple of meats. Oh yeah, we're gonna make some serpent stew, boy. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay. We're having a hard time turning around. There we go. Another serpent's gonna spawn with the storm, I bet. We better hurry up. Okay, straighten out. Slow it down. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Uh, go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. Alright. Where are we? We are in the middle of the ocean. During a storm. Against the wind. But that's okay. We are king of the seas now. King of the seas now. All right, let's crank that sail. We're in third gear. There we go. Keep an eye out. I don't know how serpent spawns work, but oh, watch out for the Leviathan. Yeah, I don't know how serpent spawns work, but I'm sure that wasn't the only one in this ocean. Oh my god, there's another one. Another one. Another one. We don't have the health bar to dance with this one. Uh, the wind. Oh my god, the wind just 
the wind just turned on us. Literally and figuratively. We're not dancing with that one. We're just, we're getting out of here. We will shoot at it though while we're here. Ooh, 126. Ooh, we, we did some good damage to that one. Oh, we did some good damage to our boat too. Maybe we should dance with this one. Where's she at now? Where are we? We're right here. Let's slow down a bit. Let's make, you know what? We're gonna dance with this one too. Where is she? We're more experienced now. Maybe that's what the game wants you to think though. Maybe the game wants you to Maybe the game's hustling you, giving you an easy serpent so you think you can fight them good and then they send you the real ones. Come on. Ooh yeah, another good hit. Not a good hit to the boat, though. We need to stop doing that. Okay. Stop punching the boat! Warrant 2, why are you always doing that, buddy? Alright. Make a little bit of a right here. Slow it down. Not too much of a right, okay. We got a little bit of wind, we're moving, but we're not flying out of here. Where is she? Um, did she just smash us or was that the wave? Cause that would be terrifying if she hit our boat that hard. We're gonna have to make a big left here. Unloading unused assets, okay. Day 168. Okay. We're going back into the fray. I forgot, you can't leave it in first gear or it will eventually stop. So, what about second gear? Alright, so it'll stay in second gear. Got the bow. Keep an eye out for her. She's in these waters. Why don't you treat yourself to a muck shake? Oh, that's a big fish. Where is she? Alright, make a hard right. We're gonna go towards the Leviathan. Is 
she's got to be in that general direction. And that's kind of the general direction we want to go, to be honest. Let's drop back to second gear. I do not see her anywhere. Once we get close enough to the land, we're going to make a hard left. We're going to have to zigzag our way north based on the wind. That's my old boat. There's my old boat. I wonder if my old boat's at max health. Maybe we could trade off. Oh yeah. Okay. Take you. Put you in there, and we're gonna take you and you, and we're gonna put you, you, and you in there. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna go get her now. Whoops. That's okay. That's still way more health than that boat had. Even though she treated us well, we need more health. So here we are. Look at all those coral cods. Nice. We're going too fast. Let's slow it down. We're in second gear now. I'm willing to drop it into first. She needs to show herself. Okay. She's got about 10 seconds to show herself before I bail and go do what I was doing. I am literally a sitting duck. Well, not literally, obviously. I guess I'm figuratively a sitting duck. And she's nowhere to be found. And here comes the sun. The center storm that's been here at this Leviathan for two days now. I've been in this water for like two in game days fighting this serpent. I can't believe we soloed a serpent. That's our first time. That's our first solo of a serpent. And we almost killed a second serpent, but she like ran and hid. Maybe she knew the storm was ending and despawned or something. That's probably what happened. Okay, so 
We'll cruise in first gear for a little bit. Second gear. Yeah, we'll cruise in second gear. We're not going to fly out of here, but we are moving. Thought that was her for a second, but it's not. Oh, we've got coral cods. Oh, damn it. I wish I had my fishing pole. All these... Okay. This is the way I need to go. I guess I can go right a little bit. Get there with full speed. She's gone. She's not coming back. She's not coming back. Maybe. That wasn't her behind us, was it? That was a fish, probably, right? That had to have been a fish. Oh yeah, look at all these coral cods, man. Maybe one will jump up onto my boat. Oh, that's a big one, too. That's got to be like a level three or four fish. That was a big fish. Cruising. We're cruising. Hey, if you see a cabin in the mountain, don't forget to loot it. it. Might contain onion seed. Okay, you got it. Man, I wish you were here to watch this serpent fight. We we danced with her for like two in-game days. The storm was raging. The waves were high. We were crashing against the waves, crashing against each other. It was a big epic fight and we won. Look at this. Oh yeah, we got seven serpent meat from her. And after we killed her, we saw another one and we started dancing with her. And we got her down to about half health before I think she despawned. I'm not really sure. She like just went MIA completely. But it was sick, dude. It was so awesome fighting that serpent. I had never killed a serpent like that before.
Well, we got a little bit of wind. Let's take advantage of that. Just a tiny sliver. We killed our serpent. We got our tiny sliver of wind. We're almost at our destination. We just need to get to right about here. And looks like we're going to have to lose our wind because we don't want to hit that rock. Yep, but we are in pretty good shape. We got to our destination once already died had to respawn and come back so that's what we're doing now so we're gonna build an outpost at the base of the mountain first and we're gonna place our portal there first that way in case we die again we don't have to do this coming back nonsense Thirty. I can't believe that too. 30 seconds. We weren't in the mountains for 30 seconds before we had the you are being hunted event and got completely mauled by wolves. Heck, we weren't even up the side of the mountain yet. We were still scaling up the mountain to get to the mountains. And they got us. They couldn't wait to get us. We got a little sliver of wind here. We're going to take advantage of that. There we go. Almost got it. I was completely cursed by Vale. Thanks, Vale. But that's all right. We're we're back to where we want to be. Yeah. We'll get there even faster with the wind in our favor now. Very nice. Very nice. We hit some uh, some stream milestones tonight too. We've hit our peak concurrent live viewership as well as our most amount of likes on a stream. So thank you everybody who helped participate in that. And if you haven't helped participate in that, don't forget to like the video. Show Bjorn2 your support. He needs all the help he can get on his perilous journey. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see how his journey ends. But it's not going to be ending for a while yet. We still got the mountains, the plains, the mistlands. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of content left for him. Okay. There we go. We are almost at our destination. Wow, I was really close with my guess on where we should land. Because it is going to be like right around there. What a weird patch of fog right there. It's not, they're not going to trap me, though.
Where did we park our boat? Did we park our boat back there last time? I think we did, didn't we? Alright, we're gonna loop around. We're gonna hard left. We're gonna go park right... Right in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna park right in there. We're gonna throw up a little hut. Get our portal in there. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. There we go. I can see a little bit now. We should probably slow down some. Let's, um... And it doesn't get much better than that. Alright, grab this wood. Who done it? Alright, we're gonna go to the top of this little hill here. And this is where we're gonna build our little hut. And we're gonna scale that mount. Actually, you know what? Let's just build it right on the edge of this. We're gonna run up the side of this mountain here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Look at her up there. Oh, yeah. That's a mountain if I ever saw one. Okay, we're gonna build our hut right about here. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw down a workbench right about there. And just start laying the foundations. Once we get this portal up, we're going to scale that mountain. There we go. What is that? Two by four? We need a... We need a four by three. So let's... Get some more of these up. Very good. Throw a couple of these little dudes around the sides. Very good. Alright, how much wood do we have left? Oh, we still have quite a bit of wood. Okay. Let's throw some walls up. Bam. Let's go ahead and chop this tree. Okay, get some of these. Drink a muck shake. We're going to treat ourselves to a nice, delicious muck shake. It is nighttime, so we need to wrap this up. Very good. We're going to give this a nice hearty chop. Oh, yeah. I hear them. They're coming. All right. Okay. One and that's where we'll put the door. I don't know what just happened. Maybe I placed a double wall? I'm not sure. Okay. Roof time. Do one of these numbers. 
right. And one of these numbers here. Okay. We're not gonna die this time. Because I am not making that trip again. Uh, let's see. This. This is what we want. We'll throw some of these up. Very good. And... Okay. How much wood do we have left? Oh, we still have quite a bit of wood. Very good. Very, very good. Let's get this up. Um... There we go. All right, door. Door is placed. Okay. That is our um little uh hut. Now we could place our portal. Very good. We're going to put the portal right there. We're going to name it Mount OP one. Very good. We're going to place a bed right there and a workbench right there. We're going to crush this workbench here and going to put some stairs in right there. No, I think we're going to need two sets of stairs. There we go. Okay, we're in the base. We're going to crush that. Do one of these numbers at the bottom. There. There. Oh, I need to get a bit of stone. Place a fire, sleep for the night, and then once it's morning time, we're going to run up the side of that mountain. And if we die, if we get hunted by wolves again, hopefully the veil curse has left us. We likely will no longer be cursed and will be just fine. We're going to place one of these two just so we can dump some of this other stuff we don't really need at the moment. Okay. Alright. We made it, guys. We traveled the open seas. We battled, danced, and we went to war with two serpents for over two days. We fought those serpents for two days in a hurricane in the eye of the storm. And we survived. We came out the other end stronger. And we are ready to scale this mountain. Let me repair what little I can. All right, we got mace equipped, shield equipped. Actually, no, we're going to need our pickaxe equipped because we're going to need that for mountain scaling. I can't really see anything. There we go. There's no way we'll get hunted twice. There's just no way. And once we get to about 30 stamina, we're going to stop for our, our little hole. There we go. All right. Sure, we'll grab a few of those. We'll let that stamina recharge, and then we'll go up a little bit more. And then once we get to about 30, we'll dig in another little little hole in the ground 
Or we might be able to just rest right here. Yeah, okay. We'll just take a little breather here. This is a hell of a mountain we're scaling. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are high up. And we're not even halfway up the side of it yet. I don't even know if we can scale this. Can you even go up a, a degree this high? At what point should I take my, my frost resist potion? Anybody who's more familiar with the mountains in chat right now, could you guys help me out? Tell me when I should take my frost resist potion. Should I take one now? I am freezing. Yep, that tells me I should take one now. <laughs> well, that mystery is solved. There's no way we will be hunted. There's just no way. There's a little stone thing. Maybe we can use that as the, the foundations for our, our mountain outpost. Okay. We've got lots of snow over there. Wolf Guten Tag. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. What is that purple stuff? Forget what that means, the purple stuff. Oh! I remember the fight with Motor now. I might have fought and beaten Motor. I thought Bone Mass was the highest tier boss I fought, but the boss fight versus Motor is coming back to me now. Um, as I see some of these things around the mountain. Oh, look at that. There is another, it might, might be too hard to see. There's another little stone structure there. There's a stone structure there and a stone structure there. I want to be at the tippy top though. So we're going to go there. Yeah. Oh yeah. We we are high up here. There's a Drake. I think that's a Drake. Or is that something else? That's probably a Drake, right? Singing love ballads. They're not resistant to fire damage, I wouldn't imagine. Oh, that's not a good shot. I missed that. Okay. Uh-oh, get, get your pickaxe out. There we go. Oh, that is a heavy hit. Get over here, dude. Oh, I hit him again, too. Very nice. Oh, that fire damage is going to take him out. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. Do we lose those frost glands, though? They probably flew down the side of that mountain. Let's go find out. But nope, here it is. Nice. We could not be more fortunate. This is where we're going to start our, our outpost, I think. No, we can get higher. This is a cool spot, and it's mostly made of stone, which is cool. Um, oh, you know what? I should have brought a couple iron with me so I could build out of stone up here. Um... There is a swamp at the base of this mountain, though, so maybe there's some stone down there. I couldn't have brought iron with me. I didn't have any iron to bring. 
Okay. Shoot. How are we going to get up there? There's no way we can run up this wall, can we? Alright. So we've got the hole. Let our stamina recharge. We'll run up to the hole. Let it rest. And then we'll do that again. Yeah. We're gonna just Skyrim our way up the side of this. Very good. Very, very good. Ooh. It is super steep. Oh, there's no way we can get any higher than that. Oh. <laughs> Let's go over there. Ooh, that was a big hefty chunk. Okay. Get to that rock. This is, uh, obsidian, right? Might just be a rock, actually. I hear another drake up there. Oh, look at this little, um... That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm actually sliding still. That's pretty nifty. Oh, wow, yeah, we are up here, dude. We are at the top of the world. There's a wolf. All right. If we know the wolf is there, we can't be surprised by it. Smackaroni, dude. Smackaroni and please. Oh, there's an ice golem. I don't think I'm ready for all this stuff. Let's go a different way. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We are not ready to fight an ice golem, a drake, and a wolf all at the same time. That is just not something we're prepared to do. Is that a building over there? Somebody said something about a cabin. Hey, if you see a cabin in the mountain, don't forget to loot. It might contain onion seed. Okay, because there's a, there's a cabin over there. Very good. So we'll definitely be sure to loot that. Okay, we got quite the jump ahead of us. We can make it. Just wall run. There we go. Um, we can make it. We got another stone structure down there. Uh, I don't know if we can make that. Damn. What are we doing? Oh, maybe we can go up. Okay, good. We got this, guys. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be just fine. That Drake is still fighting that ice golem. Uh... Don't feel rested anymore. Uh-oh. That's another ice golem? They're freaking everywhere. Does he see us? He does. Ooh. 
We are in a really bad spot. Blocked. Get out of here, wolf. Okay. Maybe if we run fast enough, we can lose their aggro. And then we can go do the mountain stuff we want to do. Another ice golem, my goodness! They're everywhere. Alright. You are freezing? Okay. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna make it to that stone building over there. There's too much crazy. Ooh. Nice. Don't mind if I do. There's too much crazy stuff happening over here. Okay, that's pretty crazy. I think I can handle Drake's though. It's really ice golems that I'm not super prepared to fight at the moment. Um, there's a stone tower. And, okay. The fire's gonna kill that one. All right. We're getting blasted with ice, dude. Oh! Let the stamina go up a bit. I'm having a hard time hitting this one. Ooh, I thought I let him good too, but I didn't. Ooh. I've got seven health potions if I need one. Okay. That's two of the three drakes down. Grab this freeze gland and this freeze gland. There's that stone tower and this one off in the distance. Oh, nice. Bruh. He messed us up. Oh, drink a muck shake. I, I, I don't want him to be in a position where I can't loot him when he falls. <sighs> oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. We got him. Got him. And we got the freeze gland. All right. Trophy. Very good. Oh, man. What a stressful journey. We've got the planes on that side. Because that definitely looks like a planes tower. We've got the swamp up here. We've got some black forest around us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip this. You can sense hidden objects. Okay. If there's a silver vein over here, I feel like we're like might be on one. What is this stuff? What is this? Should I break this stuff? Can you? I don't think you can. Oh, wait. I think I just hit in the rock. Dragon egg. How much does a dragon egg weigh? A lot, right? 300 pounds. Oh, I can't have my wishbone and my belt equipped? That's kind of dumb. 
Get some obsidian. Oh, I hear a wolf. Drop this. And... Um, what I'm trying to do right now is determine which stone building to make my, my outpost. That one? Or... This one. I kind of like this one. I like the... The position of it. I feel almost, um... Almost... Ooh, is that a... I think that's a cavern. Like one of those big ice caverns. I see you, dude. Come on, bud. Come back. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. How much wood do we have on us? Literally none. <laughs> okay. Alright. I like the idea of building it there because I feel almost protected by all these... By, like, being in this tiny little valley. So, that's where we're gonna make our outpost. But these drakes aren't gonna spawn here all the time, are they? They're gonna spawn here because of that, aren't they? Because I really don't want to deal with drakes all the time. Oh, there's another one over there. That's just lovely. Ooh. Big power hit. Oh, yeah. As long as there's not an ice golem down here, I can I can handle drakes. And I can handle an ice golem eventually, just not right now. Did my bow break? Oh, my bow broke. That's not good. Get in there. Okay. Oh. Okay. How much wood did I get? I got 10 wood. That might be enough for a workbench. Needs a roof. Okay. So, I don't know how I'm going to kill this drake. Oh my god! It's in here. What is going on? That was crazy. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll get some of this stuff broken. Collect that wood. And I will get a roof. Above this workbench. Repair my bow. Oh, I can't repair my bow here? Oh my gosh. Oh, because I need like a level 4 workbench or something. Oh, I just destroyed the shit out of that wall. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a bow. Can I make a new bow? What do you need to, to craft a crude bow? I know- Oh, you need like deer hide and stuff. Alright guys, I need ideas. What can I do here? A flint spear? I don't have any of those things. Okay, I know what to do. The only thing I can do. And that is fight. Wait for them to come by again. And I'm in here now. I'm at I'm at eye level with them now. Come on.
Um, I need suggestions, guys. What am I? What should I do here? I, I don't have any way of like shooting them. My bow is donezo. And I can't throw rocks at them. And like jumping and swinging isn't really doing it. Oh my god. They're destroying everything. By the time they're done, there's not going to be any stone hut left. Oh, he almost flew off with me on his back. Okay. Eat some stuff. Okay. Get some obsidian. What what can I do with the obsidian? Oh, I got one. I got one. Get out of here. Did I get the other one? No, not quite. I got one, though. We smacked him around, huh? It's gonna take a health potion so we don't die up here in the frozen wastelands. I need him to come back in here. It does not comfort me to know. It does not comfort me to know that I was able to break one of these walls with my mace. Oh my gosh. Bastard. Woo. Come on, dude. Come down here, Drake. Oh, I'm gonna kill the hell out of this thing when I get the chance. Come on. sucks that I can't repair my bow. Come on. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I gotta be careful. I almost jumped off that big-ass cliff. This is ridiculous. Now I hear a wolf out there. Come on, Drake. Like, just land, dude. I should be able to build something in the event my bow breaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are gonna come explore the mountains. There should be an alternative to that. You know, they're not going to have extra bows with them. And I only fought like three drakes. Oh, never mind. I fought that damn serpent for two fucking days. Excuse my French. <sighs> I might just have to leave. Like, I know that's a disappointing outcome uh, to the mountain journey, but I don't know what to do here. 
and I can't do anything with this Drake shooting at me. Oh my god. Okay. Retreat. I really don't want to retreat. I feel like we can get him. He just needs to come closer. I've got health potions. I've got frost resist potions. I mean, I was able to kill the one. You know, he flew in here. I just need that guy to fly in here. It's like you need Boris. There we go. Finally, dude. What an idiot. Ugh, what a frustrating 20 minutes or however long that was. And now I hear a wolf. That's all right, though. We could deal with a wolf. What we need to do is get a door on that place ASAP. Oh, I see you. I hear others too. That wolf is definitely not alone. What are you trying to do? Call your friends? Those Fenrir spawn only at night. Fenrir? What, like a werewolf? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We've collected... Oh, there's another Drake out there, dude. This is crazy. We're gonna hurry up and... Put a door on this place. Put a wall right there. Floor right there. And repair shit out of this stuff. No way, dude. He's outside. He's right outside. There's no way. No way, dude. Mm. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break all this stuff. We're gonna take all this wood with us. And we're going to go build somewhere else because this place sucks. After we read this. Okay. He is. Oh my God. He's across the world. Oh no. Actually, he's not that far. Never mind. And we're just going to leave. And hopefully that Drake doesn't follow us too far. He probably will though, huh? I saw one of those wooden cabins. Where did I see that wooden cabin? 
I saw it somewhere. Well, there's this stone building. Oh my god, is that the same one or a different one? That's a different one. Or is it? Yo, it really sucks not having a bow out here. Like, <laughs> it, it's beyond, it beyond sucks. Ugh. God. Okay. There's a wood cabin somewhere. There's just another stone building there. This one's actually a little bigger, too. A little more elaborate. That thing's not still behind us, is it? Oh, there's skeletons. I didn't even know they had skeletons up here. Ooh, what's up, dude? Oh yeah, you know what? This place is actually going to make a way sweeter base, too. Oh, look at this stuff. Okay. No fucking way. Are these things everywhere? Obsidian. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Take that. Obsidian arrow, frost arrow, tool shelf. Okay. That's probably an upgrade of some kind. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to A. Place crafting bench here. B. Place door here. And finish the door. All right, that's B, C. We're going to place a roof. Cross all of this. No fucking way. He's already here. There's no way. Oh my God. This is so, so frustrating. There's a fucking golem out there. Alright guys, um, on that note, I'm just gonna have to pause the game, save it, and pick it back up tomorrow. I've been trying to get to a point where I can close the game and save it for like 45 minutes now. And these things just keep spawning. So we're just gonna pause it, save it. I really appreciate everyone who tuned in. Don't forget to like the video. Bjorn 2 is going to need all the support he can get tomorrow. He's got a really, really crazy journey ahead of him, as you can see. Surrounded by dragons, drakes, golems, no bow, barely any arrows, no place to sleep. He needs help. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel too, so you can be notified when that happens. Farewell. Again, thank you for tuning in. Have a good night.